This 33-story high-rise is one tall building among many in downtown Los Angeles. Like most, it is wired up with earthquake monitoring sensors. In Los Angeles, it's mandated that quote-unquote tall buildings be instrumented. They're often tucked away where you wouldn't even think to look for them. Well, the big one we all know is going to come. And in Southern California, uh, there's an expectation that it, it's overdue. With support from the National Science Foundation, Structural engineers John Wallace and Henry Burton from UCLA are exploring new ways to build resilience into urban clusters. Dense cityscapes packed with tall buildings vulnerable to earthquakes, like in downtown Los Angeles. What I consider the 21st century challenge is being able to engineer earthquake resilient communities. And by resilient, what we mean is uh, in the event of a major earthquake, we're able to minimize the initial impact, adapt to any major changes that happen as a result of the earthquake and recover in a timely manner. Key to that is data. This is an accelerometer, the workhorse of the LA Earthquake Monitoring Network. It measures how much a building sways during seismic events. In tall buildings all over the city, thousands of them are recording data around the clock. But after an earthquake, much of it can go unanalyzed for months. There are some buildings where the, that there's a rapid assessment process that's been implemented, and our goal is to do that on a, and more systematically for the city of Los Angeles, not on a building-by-building building, uh, approach. They're using the data to verify and refine models used to predict how tall buildings respond to earthquakes. They say data gleaned from shake table tests like these can only get you so far. Their new models incorporate performance data from actual buildings. After an earthquake, you have to have uh, engineers go to buildings individually and inspect those buildings and make a decision on whether or not the building is safe to occupy. Part of what the models and systems we will be developing will be able to do is to serve to help guide these engineers in terms of looking for the hotspots. Burton says the challenge to building more resilient urban centers is for engineers to think beyond the structural performance of any single tall building. They need to be part of a coordinated response. So even if the structural integrity is maintained, as you may, if you can't get to the building, if there's no water, if there's no power, if any of the non-structural components have been damaged to the extent that it can't be used, then the building will not be functional. They say their new methods could save lives and money far beyond Los Angeles. Quite frankly, the lessons that we learn here in LA will be uh, exported, say, to all the other places in the world that have significant earthquakes. Taking a data-driven approach to disaster preparedness, helping cities at risk bounce back after earthquakes. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.